We've done a ton of research on zero turn mowers, and in this video, we are bringing you the top five zero turn mowers for right around $3,000 in 2022. We will rank the mowers by their overall quality and features for the price. We hope that our breakdown gives you more insight when choosing your next residential zero turn mower. You will see that some mowers have better features than others, depending on what features are most important to you. Your personal ranking may be different from ours, and we appreciate and respect that. Be sure to let us know which mower you think is best on this list, and check out the other videos on the Tractor Bob's YouTube channel after this video. Number 5 on the list is the Arians Edge 42 inch for $32.99. In my top mowers for $3,000 video from last year, some of you brought this mower to my attention, and after doing some research, I've decided to add it to this list. So let's take a look. The Arians Edge 42 inch deck is a fabricated deck made with 11 gauge steel. It has a foot pedal deck height adjustment that also has a lever and 7 selectable cutting heights. It may not be as nice as the selector, but it is a lot better and easier to use than a standard pin style system. The fact that this mower has a fabricated cutting deck is a big plus. The Aaron's Edge 42 inch comes with two engine options, the Kohler 6000 series and the Briggs & Stratton Intec 656cc, and the mower has a two gallon fuel tank capacity. These are pretty entry level engines, so nothing to brag about here. This mower comes equipped with the Hydrogear ZT2200 transaxles which contain 10cc pumps and drive motors, and an internal oil filter and expansion chamber. The top speed is 6 miles per hour, again pretty standard for a mower in this price range. The front tires on the Edge 42 are 4 inches wide and 11 inch in diameter and the rear tires are 8 inches wide with a 20 inch diameter. The front forks and deck on this mower are fairly heavy duty, especially when compared to other zero turn mowers with stamp decks, and it comes with a cup holder and nice control console. Aaron's provides a 2 year or 150 hour warranty on the Edge 42, and Kohler provides a 2 year engine warranty for residential owners. The Aaron's mower has a few things about it that make it a cut above your standard $3,000 lawnmower. Number 4 on this list is the John Deere Z-Track Z355R for $3,299. There are other John Deere Z300 series mowers that cost a couple hundred dollars less than this one, but with smaller tires, a smaller seat, and no deck pedal. We think the best value for your money is the Z-Track Z355R when it comes to the John Deere residential zero-turn mowers around $3,000. The Z355 R comes with a 10 gauge stamped. Are you guys good? As I was saying, the Z355R comes with a 10 gauge stamped steel 48 inch cutting deck. It has three blade spindles, a plastic chute, fairly light grade anti scalp wheels, and a hose connection for deck washout. The deck height adjustment is a dual foot pedal and hand lever system with 13 cut height positions. The engine on the Z355R by John Deere is a 22 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Intec V-Twin engine and has a fuel tank with a 2.1 gallon capacity. Nothing to brag about so far. The transaxles for the John Deere Zero Turn comes with the unlabeled Hydrogear ZT2200s, which contain 10cc pumps and drive motors and an internal oil filter and expansion chamber. It has a top speed of 7 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a mower in this price range. The tires on the Z355R are larger than other Z track series zero turns with the front tires measuring 5 inches wide with a 13 inch diameter and the rear tires are 9 inches wide with a 20 inch diameter, meaning this mower will ride smoother than other mowers with smaller tires. One of my favorite things about this mower is that John Deere includes an 18 inch seat with armrests. It's one of the only mowers at this price point that comes with armrests. The mower has a low fuel warning light, cup holder, and cubby 
Anyways, our biggest complaint with it is that the deck and the frame are really light compared to other mowers on this list. John Deere includes a 2 year or 120 hour warranty for this mower. Like the Aaron's mower, the John Deere Zero Turn has a few things about it that make it a cut above your standard $3,000 lawnmower. Number 3 on this list is the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 for $3,299. Maybe you've seen the commercials, maybe you haven't, but this mower is a pretty popular choice right now for a lot of homeowners. Let's see why. The ZT1 comes with a stamped steel 42 inch cutting deck, two blade spindles, and a hose connection for deck washout. The deck height adjustment is a foot pedal and dial system with 15 selectable cutting heights. The ZT1 comes with a Kohler 22 horsepower 725 cc 7000 series engine and a fuel tank with a 3.5 gallon capacity, which is pretty good for a mower at this price. The Ultima ZT1 comes equipped with Hydrogear ZT2200 transaxles which contain 10 cc pumps and drive motors and an internal oil filter and expansion chamber. The top speed is 7 miles per hour, also very fast for its category. The front tires on the ZT1 are 5.5 inches wide with an 11 inch diameter and the rear tires are 8 inches wide with a 20 inch diameter. One thing we really like about this mower is that it is the only zero turn at this price point that comes with front LED lights included. It it also features rubber floor mats, a new and unique frame design, and engine guard bar, a very comfortable high back seat, and quickly adjustable steering arms. The Cub Cadet provides a three year consumer warranty for the Ultima ZT1, and Kohler provides a three year warranty for the engine. This is a great warranty for a residential mower. There is no doubt that the Cub Cadet has several very cool features for the price. The most significant in my opinion, is the top speed. Number 2 on this list is the Bad Boy MZ Rambler for only $31.99. The Bad Boy MZ Rambler is the newest addition to Bad Boy's residential zero-turn mower lineup and $100 cheaper than the other zero-turn mowers on this list. The MZ Rambler definitely brings the sturdiest deck of all of the mowers we are covering in this video. It features a 42-inch 7-gauge steel deck with a reinforced edge that's 3 16ths of an inch thick along the leading edge of the mower. It also seems to have the best deck height adjustment system with Bad Boy's foot pedal and deck dial. It just feels higher quality than even the other deck dial systems. Now an electric lift is also available from Bad Boy. And lastly for the deck on the MZ Rambler, the fiber reinforced rubber grass chute outshines the other plastic deck chutes that most other mowers at this price point have. This chute can take quite a beating and is built to last years long after the other plastic chutes will have cracked and torn. The MZ Rambler comes in two Kohler engine options, the 19 horsepower 541cc single cylinder 5400, that's $31.99, and the 22 horsepower 725cc V twin cylinder 7000 for an additional $300. The 19 horsepower single cylinder engine is $31.99 and is actually the smallest engine of the mowers in this comparison. The fuel tank, however, is the largest of the five mowers in this video, with a capacity of 5 gallons. The MZ Rambler comes equipped with the Hydrogear ZT2200 transaxles, just like every other mower in this video so far. The top speed is 6 miles an hour, which is pretty standard. The front tires on the MZ Rambler are 4 inches wide and 11 inch in diameter, and the rear tires are 8.5 inches wide with a 17 inch diameter. The wheels on this mower are on the smaller side for sure. As far as the overall build quality, the Bad Boy MZ Rambler has a 2 inch by 2 inch square tube frame, the sturdiest frame of this mower comparison. Heavy gauge steel construction all around, convenient cubbies for your phone and other tools, and a cup holder. I really like that it also has nice grippy rubber mats under your feet, 
and they've made this mower super easy to get to all the major components with an easy flip up floorboard and seat. Bad Boy offers a two year bumper to bumper warranty for the MZ Rambler. When looking at the MZ Rambler with the larger engine option, it probably would have taken the number one spot in this video. Because of its superior deck, frame, and deck height adjustment, plus the five gallon fuel tank. But at a price of $34.99, we did not feel it would be a fair comparison to the other zero turns closer to $3,000. So the standard MZ Rambler comes in at number two on this list. And finally, in the number one spot, we have the Husqvarna Z248F, which as you'll see is a super reliable option for homeowners and commercial users who really need an inexpensive mower. The Husqvarna Z200 series is Husqvarna's mid-tier residential mower lineup, available in 42, 48, and 54 cut options. And the price varies by about $100 depending on which deck option you choose from. From. The Z248 comes with a 10 gauge fabricated steel deck, three blade spindles, a plastic chute reinforced with a steel hinge assembly, and a hose connection for deck washout. The height adjustment for the Z248 is a hand operated lever, which in my opinion is extremely easy to use. The Kawasaki FR651V in the Husqvarna Zero Turn Mower is the same 21.5 horsepower engine that you'll find in other more expensive zero turn mowers, but Husqvarna offers it in the Z248 for only $31.99. The fuel tank has a 3.5 gallon capacity. The engine here is a key factor to the performance of this mower. The Husqvarna Z248 comes equipped with Hydrogear ZT2200 transaxles, which contain 10cc pumps and drive motors and an internal oil filter and expansion chamber. The the top speed is 6.5 miles an hour, which is pretty good. The front tires on the Z248 are 5 inches wide with an 11 inch diameter, and the rear tires are 9.5 inches wide with an 18 inch diameter. Some of the things that stand out to us on the Husqvarna Z248 are the steel spindle shrouds, cup holder and cubby, overall sturdy construction and components, and easy access to the major components. Husqvarna offers a three year bumper to bumper warranty for residential use and Kawasaki engines have a three year residential manufacturer's warranty, making the Husqvarna the best overall warranty in our comparison. With all of its great features, capabilities, and components, the Husqvarna Z248F takes the cake, so good job Husqvarna and good job to all the other mowers who made it on this list. Thanks for watching this video on the top five mowers for right around $3,000. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up that really helps us out a lot hit that subscribe button to receive more videos like this one if you are already subscribed thank you so much and consider tapping that bell icon to be notified on when we come out with new videos thanks for watching have a wonderful day god bless